Hello, it's Lucy, and today I'm going to be talking about college transfer rolling admissions. I'll be covering topics like what are rolling admissions? Does applying earlier increase your chances of getting accepted? When are decisions released? And also, if you don't receive a decision during the first wave of admissions, what does that mean? So let's get started. So if you look up the definition of rolling admissions online, it says rolling admissions works on a first come first serve basis. Plenty of rolling admissions schools keep accepting applications until all the slots in the new class are filled, but some do have cutoff dates past which they will no longer accept applications. A lot of state schools follow this model of rolling admissions, where if you apply earlier, you have a higher chance of getting accepted and you receive your decision earlier. For example, when I applied as a first year, I applied to University of Arizona and Arizona State University, both of which had rolling admissions. And I applied to both of them around September and I received a decision like three to four weeks later in October. So this is what most people think of when they think of rolling admissions. However, most transfer rolling admissions do not follow this model. I will be using Northwestern University in all of my examples, but this should apply for a lot of elite universities that have a similar standing to Northwestern University. If you look up Northwestern University transfer online, you'll find this page with frequently asked questions. If you scroll down until you see when will I be notified of Northwestern's decision, You'll see that decisions are made on a rolling basis after the application deadline, and that Northwestern will not review your application for admission until they have received all required admission items. You can also see that they accept transfer applications until April 10th, even after their March 15th deadline. It also states that students who apply by March 15th are more likely to receive a decision from them earlier. However, they give full consideration to all applications. Looking at Northwestern's website alone tells us that they don't follow the standard rolling admissions model. First of all, they say students who apply by March 15th are more likely to receive a decision from us earlier, meaning that it doesn't mean that you'll receive your decision earlier just because you applied earlier. They also give full consideration to all applications, meaning that if you apply later and you don't get all of your materials in on time, they will still give you full consideration and it's still possible to get accepted to that university. Now, the one thing that they left out is they didn't reveal in what order they do review their applications. And this is something that I was really curious about while I was applying to transfer to Northwestern University. So I actually contacted their admissions office and asked them this question. Northwestern responded saying that transfer admission decisions are released on a rolling basis between mid-April to mid-June. However, they are unable to predict when in that window an individual's decisions are released. And the reason for that is because applications are not reviewed in the order that they were received, and there is no standard length of review. They went on about saying how their application review process is holistic and takes many factors into consideration. And as you can see, it was signed off by a transfer student specialist at Northwestern University. I submitted my application in early February because I wanted to get ahead, I wanted to get my decision earlier, and I actually wound up getting my decision during the third wave of application decisions, which is fairly late um, considering I applied so early. So this is a clear example that applying earlier does not correlate to receiving your decision earlier. And in fact, it probably didn't help my application at all. Now, I don't want people to get the wrong impression and submit their application after the March 15th deadline because there are downsides to that. First of all, they start reviewing applications after that March 15th deadline. So if you make that deadline, it's more likely that you'll receive a decision earlier. However, if you are struggling to get your application in by the deadline or you feel like a couple more weeks or even a few more days will significantly increase your chances of getting in because you're able to spend more time on your essays or something of that nature, then I would say it's definitely okay to submit it after the March 15th deadline, considering that you'll still get full consideration um, in your application. That being said, the question of how they decide which order 
they review their transfer applications is still up in the air. I never got a direct answer regarding in what order they review their applications. However, I do have a few theories myself. Before I start explaining my theories, I just want to say that this is completely my opinion. This is not based on fact, um, so definitely don't take it as fact. My first theory is that they review their applications based on the college or major that you applied to. And I think logically this kind of makes sense because each major in college has their own standard of like what they require for that specific major. In addition, when I was applying to transfer to Northwestern University, I was stalking College Confidential. Like every time a wave came out, I looked at who was accepted and what their stats were. And I did notice that during some of those waves, people of the same major were accepted. However, this was not like always true. For example, I would see in the first round, maybe three computer science majors were accepted. Um, but then there would be more computer science majors accepted in later rounds. So I'm not sure if this theory entirely holds true. My second theory is kind of related to the first theory, but I think that they might review applications based on what majors or spots in their class that they're trying to fill. For example, if they admit in a certain number of computer science majors in their first year class, and now those first years um, maybe just switch majors and they don't have as many computer science majors as they would like, then perhaps the college admissions would look at the computer science majors first who are applying to transfer to try to fill those spots. I don't really have any evidence for this. However, I think it makes sense logically. If a school is trying to fill up a certain number of spots in their class and they have a specific requirement, for example, they have to be X major to fill those spots, then maybe they'll look at those majors first. My third theory is that it could just be random. If they do give full consideration to anyone who applies by April 10th, then why does the order in which they review those applications matter? Once again, I want to say that these are all based on my opinion and Northwestern University has not confirmed any of these theories. That being said, I am curious what you guys think about what order they review applications in. If anyone happens to know or has a really good theory, please leave it in the comments below because I am really curious about this. If you want to know whether the university that you're applying to transfer to follows the standard rolling admissions of first come first serve or Northwestern University's rolling admissions process, then just reach out to them. You can simply send them an email asking if their admissions process is first come first serve. And you can also ask if applying earlier increases your chances of getting accepted. Don't be afraid to reach out to admissions. I was a little nervous at first about asking whether they review their applications on a first come first serve basis because I thought it might reflect negatively on me. However, it's completely your right to know as an applicant and it's a genuine question. Even if they don't give you a direct answer, it still doesn't hurt to ask. Now, moving on to transfer decision release dates, most elite universities like Northwestern University will release their transfer decisions in waves. The first wave of decisions is usually released around late April, like the third or fourth week of April. And then after that, decisions are usually released in waves every week or every other week following. When I was applying to transfer to Northwestern University, they released the first wave of decisions in late April, and then another wave of decisions two weeks after, and then another wave of decisions two weeks after. I received my decision on May 20th, which was fairly late considering it was the third wave. And it was a really scary time for me. I kept checking College Confidential and Reddit and seeing all these other people who got accepted. And here I was still waiting and I didn't have a decision. And I kept thinking to myself, why them? Why did they receive their decision earlier than me? Some of them have even submitted their application later than me, but they got their decision earlier than me. So what does all this mean? And should you be concerned if you don't receive a decision during the first wave of admissions? The short answer is no. Many people receive acceptances in the second, third, or even fourth wave of admissions. Secondly, if you submitted anything late, then it could potentially delay your decision. For example, I did not realize that I needed to submit my CSS and IDOC for financial aid 
And I think this could have been one of the reasons why I received a later decision. With that being said, please don't forget to submit any of your financial aid materials if you are planning on applying for financial aid. One other reason why you may not have received your decision during the first release or the first wave is because the school doesn't have enough information on file. And what I mean by this is that some universities might wait to see your final transcript before they make a full decision on whether or not to accept you. This can be especially applicable to first year students who may only have one semester of college grades to show on their application. All in all, if you didn't receive your decision during the first wave of admissions, don't stress, your time will come. And if you're interested in learning more about the transfer application process, go check out some of my other videos, which include how to ask for letters of recommendation and also how I transferred to Northwestern University. So thank you for watching. Bye.